hi everyone welcome to another video in the relationship series i am chi chi and again this is my boyfriend a day a day that's right <laughs> um, i was going to introduce myself okay should we try again no 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 we're good okay hey! all right <clears throat> so um yes back to the episode anyways uh welcome to another video again on the relationship series my name is chi chi and this is ade ade all right um and we are bringing you a video on our first conflict slash first fight in our relationship stay tuned you're beautiful african girl there's no one like you all over the Welcome back. All right. So the question is, what was our first conflict and how did we resolve it? How did we go about resolving it? Do you? I think you wanted to go. <laughs> no, I don't think I should tell this story because... um. <clears throat> what do we start though? I think this is very interesting. I think it was, it was uh, the first conflict was about like boundaries and trust, right? So it was on like the very first uh first m months first month first month yeah yes. first month i think of, it was three of weeks seeing each in. other like three weeks in and uh i don't think we we're exclusive then or i don't think we we're like exclusive i think we were on the way to being exclusive but this was like a situation where you know you started to develop like oh this is the person that i want to be with and you know cut off any loose ends um but so i think this was like uh, a situation where we have uh this, this other girl that i was you know friends with at the time um it's always about that right when you're like you know dating in that situation but there was really nothing going on it was like a hit or miss we never really like established anything about in terms of us seeing each other this girl happened to be uh you know in school in a different state so i don't do long distance relationships anyways but she happens to know this person um mm -hmm. however this person let, let me add that you know i didn't know this person closely at all she was just like uh like best friend to one of my best friends and so it wasn't like a like a you know very close relationship it was just an acquaintance yeah so basically but i've known this person for a very long time uh That's maybe a very long time four or five years okay yeah. just wanted to establish so, that but yeah this whole time nothing really happened we we're just like friends uh she was doing her thing i was doing my thing um uh, but all of a sudden we had like a mutual sort of celebration and i think Things sort of kindled on her end, uh, magically. I don't know how the thing happens. And so she kind of like expressed interest and we kind of like talked about like, yeah, sure, you know, let's see where it goes. But it never really sparked anything. Nothing ever happened because once again, she's like out of town. And I'm not a type of person that does long distance. I just can't. Um, I don't know how people do it, but some people are able to do it. They have the grace to do it. I just don't. And I'm not a type of person that lies to myself. So nothing really happened but she was coming to town once and she like sent me messages and she was like hey let's meet up and let's you know hang out whatever i was like it's like sure i didn't think anything of it because i mean we've been friends for a long time and i was like sure no problem i mean she didn't know that i was seeing somebody at the time and it was anything it wasn't serious then right it was still on the way to getting serious but uh lo and behold uh one day i, le I had my phone left out my phone was on like on, on my room or something <clears throat> and uh, i think you're missing uh like so she did you missed a big portion she okay so like we had to asked out. us to hang out and then <clears> we <throat> sort of we hung out so we we hung out at our hotel right her hotel room nothing <clears> happened <throat> absolutely nothing i went there with pure intentions i'm not a type of person that you know i mean if something were to happen i would be like i would definitely not go there because i knew i didn't have any intentions i was not going to do anything that i would regret right because i knew that she was the one that i wanted to be with it was pure i was clear then and so fine this other person there was no other way for her to meet up because that was she was doing stuff at the hotel she had like a conference thing and it was late at night it was so late and i was like sure i'll just like stop by real quick before i go home because she was flying out of town the next morning um and so we kind of hung out you know we didn't do anything watch like a movie and uh i left um and then come to find out a couple uh we, then we hung out a couple of days later uh and am i missing something so we had we did have a conversation about it first though before we hung out though we had a conversation you told me so <clears throat> i can't remember the context but you brought it up that you had met up with her 
and I was like, oh, what happened? And you were like, oh, um, you know, you guys just talked about it and you told her that you were with someone, but you didn't say my name. You right. didn't say who it was. Exactly. You didn't let her know who it was. And I just thought that was kind of weird. That it's like a whole backstory to that, right? right like, but, her, like her knowing who you were, but not really wanting to acknowledge that I was right. talking. So apparently, um, this, so uh, since we have a mutual friend, right? My best friend. So my best friend had informed her that we started to talk and her knowing this, she still like reached out to him and wanted to hang out. And so... Um, they hung out and so I think can you explain the rationale for why you didn't want to tell her that it was me I didn't want to tell it was her because I wasn't under the impression that you know she had any I mean I knew she was interested in me but I felt that at the time her knowing that okay I was seeing somebody else wouldn't trigger anything that's why I felt it was safe for me to just go and see her as friends nothing else right I didn't think anything of it I didn't think that there was anything that was going to lead into anything right so that's why i felt like i was confident enough to go there and just hang out um but lo and behold after that like two days or a couple of days later mm -hmm. uh she felt the need to check my phone to make sure that you know that my story <laughs> lines up um yeah i, I mean <clears throat> somehow i think on one occasion i i give her my my phone access i really don't care i mean i'm not doing any dirt so i'm like fine i take my phone you know, and so I, I leave the room for a little bit. I went to go get something, something for her, actually. But she then go, proceeds to look into my phone and go over my text messages. Um, I don't know. It was a beautiful morning. I woke up. It was a great day. But for some reason, you know, she had this need to check my phone. And so she does. And then when I come back into the room, I send something very off about like, you know, her, you know, she's just like jovial, very smiling. She's actually smiling now like that, but she wasn't really smiling. She was doing this fake, fake people smile. You know, those smiles for the people in your office in the morning when you see them like those people. But yeah, so I realized something. I knew something was off and my phone was not in the position where I left it. So I'm like, hmm. <laughs> no, you didn't know that I checked your phone though. Oh no, I had an inkling. My phone was out of position. What do you mean out of position? Like my phone he was didn't know my phone that was I in portrait. My phone was in portrait. When I came back, it was in landscape. No, it was not. Yeah. It was off. Like it, the it wasn't. It was off. But it was smooth. Fine. So basically, you're implying that you knew. That I, I had an phone. inkling. You checked my phone, but I didn't know what you're looking for. Okay. Right. Okay. So should I continue? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So fast forward to when we to to what happened. So you know me. See, so I checked the phone, um, and I saw some messages you know, like between him and her that tells the time that they hung out, told exactly what they did and what time he left. And so knowing that, I just kind of felt like hurt about the situation because he wasn't entirely honest with me. So he told me that they hung out, but didn't give me a context. Granted, I didn't ask, but I felt, I, I felt hurt because he left some stuff out. Like he didn't tell me they hung out at night, like at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. late in her hotel room. I think if he would have told me that when I asked about the situation, then I wouldn't have felt the need. First of all, let me talk about why I checked this phone. So I checked this phone because it just really bothered me that he didn't tell her my name. Um, and I could, I kind of saw his rationale, but I didn't understand. Like, why couldn't you tell her it was me? And basically say it out loud so that she understands, like, this is important for, you know, of course she was kind of grimy about the situation, but that's a, a talk for another day. Because she, she knew. Because she knew that we were seeing each other. Um, but whatever, you know, some people might not share that opinion. Um, but I just felt, you know, odd that he didn't say my name. So that's why I checked his phone. Um, and so fast forward to when we had the conversation. So in, in, initially I left his house in a hurry. I was at his house. I left his house in a hurry. Um, and he, maybe he had an inkling something was off, whatever. So I left and I got in panic when I'm like, oh, this is a red flag. I need to cut him off now that it's early. Like he lied to me. He didn't mention that they were in hit her hotel room and he didn't mention that it was late. And like, why not come clean to me about it? Like, I just was like, you know, coming from where I came from, you know, relationship where I've been lied to and cheated on multiple times, even though, honestly, we were not exclusive. So he had a right, like he had a right to go 
to some girl's hotel room and see her, whatever the case may be. I just felt hurt that he wasn't honest to me about it. Left in a hurry. I was like, do I? And normally I just cut people off. Like I don't even give them a chance to explain. Like I just, it's a bad behavior, but I just done. Like that was a red flag. Boom. And so I'm like, you know what? This guy has not shown himself you know, just based on his actions thus far, he has shown himself to be an honest guy. So I'm going to give him an opportunity to, to explain to me. And if he lies, we're done. If he tells the truth, then I give him another chance. So he comes over. I'm like, I need to talk to you about something. And so I say, I'm like, what exactly did you and this girl do? Where did you go? Where did you hang out? What, what time did you see her? When did you leave? I asked him specifics right and he was a hundred percent honest to me about those specifics that i asked him um and again i already knew what happened because from looking at his text message he didn't have to be honest with me about what happened and so that you know kind of made me see him in a different perspective and the other thing was then after he said everything he said and explained what happened and i was like okay cool i then decided to own up to the fact that i checked his phone Knowing that that could have been a, a red flag for him on my behalf, like that, that could have been something where he's like, wow, like, whoa, that's too, it's too early for you to be checking my phone. Like, that's ridiculous. And I know many other guys would have just walked away based on that. I know that. And unfortunately, I was highly disappointed in myself for checking his phone, highly disappointed. Um, but, and I had to make excuses for myself, right? Like, you're checking the phone of a guy you just met or just knew. Granted, I have known him for years before we actually started dating. That is still not an excuse to check his phone. Um, but I had to really come to terms with the fact that my past trauma was now pouring into this new relationship that I had or new, um, you know, new connection that I had with someone. And I was actually allowing it to pour, allowing the distrust from my previous relationship to pour into my new relationship. And, and ladies, I, I, I cannot stress how dangerous that is. That act alone could have honestly cost me a great relationship. Like he could have just walked away and, you know, just to get back on the story. So after he said that, and I, I told him, you know, I have something to tell you it might make you walk away. It might make you you know, see me in a different light. Um, but it's really important that I tell you this. And so I told him, I checked his phone, you know, I checked his phone and I am very disappointed in myself for doing it. And I'm, I'm extremely sorry. And whatever decision he's made as a result, he decides to make as a result of me checking his phone, I agree with it. And I, I accept it. And so after I said this, you know, he's silent for a couple of minutes and he's like, yeah, I'm really disappointed. Um, I, I actually, I'm just so of course my heart sinks like this person you made a great connection with like you guys connect and now all of it is risked because you couldn't put your distrust in check and so he then you know says you know i need some time to you know think this through or whatever the case may be and he gets up and start walk starts walking to my door and i'm like damn like sorry excuse my language i'm like oh my god <laughs> Like, I can't believe this. Like, damn, how could you? You know, I just felt so horrible for checking his phone. He gets to the door and then he busts out laughing. And he's like, I'm so sorry. Like, this is no. <laughs> he's laughing. And I'm like, what the absolute F? Like, why? This is not a joke. Like, this is serious. And so he's like, you know, actually, I mean, I don't care that you checked my phone. It's disappointing that you checked and it's really ridiculous that you checked, but I don't actually care that you checked my phone. And so to me, I'm just like blown away. Uh, you know, again, this is coming from someone who in my previous relationship, I have been like, you know, you scolded for checking phone, like, Oh, you're violating my privacy. Like, why would you do that? Even when I've caught, you know, like very, very sensitive things. Like I've caught him cheating. I get skull scolded for checking his phone. And so, and so, <laughs> and so, um, yeah. So with him, I was just taken aback. I was like, whoa, you know, and even that made me 
you know, it really increased the amount of trust I had in him. Just for the fact that he just came right out, I was like, you know, I actually don't care. Like, if you want to check my phone, you can check. I won't change my password. It just, it, like, multiplied the trust that I had in him by far. And it shouldn't take that, right? Like, most people be like, it shouldn't, why, why, why does it have to take that? Why should it take that? It shouldn't. And it's the unfortunate result, right, of not really, 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 really working on your past trauma, like really, really working, working on it. Now for me, before I met him, I had been in therapy for probably almost like 10 months before I met him. Like I had been seriously working on my past trauma, like seriously, seriously working on it. So checking his phone was like, um, dang, you thought you were over it and you really were not over it. Um, so anyways, uh, I should just stop harping on this, but yes, that's essentially, that was essentially our first conflict. And, you know, we just dealt with it in a very understanding way. It wasn't a blown out argument. Very and open way. Very open and honest way. And I really, really liked that piece. That was what kind of showed me that, um, you know, we mesh well, you know, we know how to handle our conflicts very well. Um, so that's it. We might, you know, rebreach this topic later, mm -hmm. um, just to kind of demonstrate to you guys how we really, really talk through it and what we talked about. Yeah. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in, um, and we'll see you next time. Bye -bye. <laughs>